What's up everybody, Mr. Lowkey. It is about 1 a.m. in the morning and it's series binging time. Now I decided to film at this time because it's quiet around the house and I was watching something really interesting on Netflix and the show I was watching is The Founder and it's the story of the McDonald's brothers, Richard McDonald and Maurice McDonald and Ray Kroc and the very interesting relationship they had. Now, I like how the movie simplified uh, some aspects of the story and focused on the core details of this character Ray Kroc, how he was frustrated and he was a salesman and he was selling milkshakes. And you had the McDonald's brothers, uh, Dick McDonald and Mac uh, McDonald and their interesting speedy system and how they came up with it and I like this part of uh, the movie quite a lot because if you've been playing the Nintendo McDonald's um, ECDP game uh, thanks Nick Robinson for uh, uh, for his work on that it's so interesting how that movie is so 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 similar uh, to the game so the brothers had this amazing uh, restaurant concept and Ray Kroc was so focused on growth, growing, growing, growing. Now, initially, when I watched it, I was thinking, man, this guy's Ray Crook. How could he have taken their idea and, you know, given them such a raw deal? But there's a lot of life lessons in this movie, and that's kind of why I'm even doing a YouTube video, um, uh, reviewing it, if I can even call it a review. but. One of the really important lessons uh, it showed was your relationships with difficult people. Now, should they have never done business together? No, I don't think that at all. I think that their unique combination and skills that they both had, both parties were of value, was one of the reasons um, that it was able to become a global brand. Uh, Ray had that drive. He took on the risk uh, even mortgaging his house to actually get those franchises going. And he came there humble and begging to do business with them. And as he became more powerful, the brothers were very, very controlling. In their right, it was their idea and their concept and their standards and their name on the line. Uh, whereas I feel a fatal mistake they made was not giving him more control. Because he was also a force, you know, he was the franchising force uh, behind the brand. And he, when, when he was late on his payments and actually cash crunched, he really had a tough time paying his bills. And, you know, for him to be taking on that risk uh, to build the brand, something had to give one way or another. So I think on both sides, um, the lesson to be learned is be humble. Uh, in both aspects and sometimes the person you're arguing with today could be you know your ticket to a billion you know so it was a very interesting sort of concept and it really showed me how when you have such a powerful idea sooner or later someone's going to um, come along for the ride and whether they tried to hide it or it was something that was bound to happen one way or another and just, you know, that little aspect of business, uh, I think if you're somebody who's interested in learning more about business and strategy and conducting yourself, was also very interesting. Now, I really liked how Michael Keaton played the role of uh, Ray Kroc. He, I, I, I found it very relatable. The other role I liked a lot was uh, the actor playing uh, Dick McDonald, and that was Mr. Nick uh, Offerman, and normally he plays a comedic role, but I found he always put such interesting delivery in his lines, and I really like the husky uh, voice, uh, even in the line uh, where they discuss the milkshakes, and uh, he said, uh, these are uh, milkshakes, right? They contain milk, real milk, now and forever, and I'm so sure he voices video games. <laughs> he was uh, really, really awesome. Uh, Mac McDonald. I really felt the, the, the actor playing him, Mr. Uh, John uh, Carroll Lynch, 
uh, also plays a lot of good uh, comedic roles, but I really felt his frustration and just the look in his eyes when he signed over the check and they did the handshake agreement and he could just see how he knew we can't beat this guy and he just wanted out. And you really see why they cut the deal that they did. And I feel like the movie really conveyed a lot of those emotions so subtly without being uh, stated, you know, show, not tell. And I really enjoyed this one a lot. In fact, after watching The Founder, uh, I watched it twice, actually. I had to watch the Steve Jobs uh, movie with Ashton Kutcher and just how a lot of these super, super driven, egomaniacal um, uh, leaders actually operate. Not that I agree with all of their methods, but it helped me understand uh, them a lot better and understand how to manage ambition correctly and really care for the people around you and build a team and lead a team and lead yourself. And much could be said about ethics at that time, but super, super interesting. Um, if you're interested in business, the hustle, these are the things I'd like to talk about on this YouTube channel. Anyway, uh, comment below if you like this sort of format, uh, these kind of things, uh, you know, midnight late movie reviews. And wishing you an awesome uh, New Year. Stay safe out there. Mr. Loki, signing out.